oceans earth is distinct from any other planet due to the presence of water but how much of the earth is covered in water about 3 quarters of the earth's surface is covered by water this is why the earth has also been called the blue planet oceans contribute to the distribution of water on the earth there are 5 major oceans on our planet they are the pacific ocean the atlantic ocean the indian ocean the southern ocean and the arctic ocean the pacific ocean is the largest ocean in the world the atlantic ocean is the second largest ocean the indian ocean extends from the southern ocean to india between africa and australia the southern ocean surrounds antarctica while the arctic ocean lies over the north pole waters of the ocean are salty or saline in nature another feature of the ocean are waves waves are the alternate rise and fall of water on the surface of the ocean this occurs due to the friction between winds and the surface of the water while the ocean water rises and falls it also moves in a definite direction this is known as an ocean current ocean currents are influenced by a number of factors such as prevailing winds rotation of the earth size and shape of the continents and density of the water the currents in the northern hemisphere travel in a clockwise direction while the currents in the southern hemisphere travel in an anti clockwise direction there are two types of ocean currents cold currents and warm currents cold currents originate in the polar regions and carry cold water the labrador current is an example of a cold current Warm currents originate in the equator and carry warm water. The Gulf Stream is an example of a warm current. Currents also affect the temperature or climate of an area. Thus, a warm current brings about warm temperatures over a land surface. Areas where warm and cold currents mix together create foggy conditions such as the seas around Japan and the eastern coast of North America. However, these areas also serve as the best fishing grounds. Let us now take a look in a little detail at one of the most important features of the ocean, tides. Tides are the rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water. Tides occur twice a day. When water covers most of the shore, it is known as a high tide. When the water recedes from the shore, it is known as low tide. Tides occur due to the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon on the earth. The moon has a stronger pull on the earth 
even though it is smaller than the sun. This is because the distance between the moon and the earth is far lesser. When the sun, the moon and the earth fall in a straight line, it results in a large tidal bulge. This maximum tide is known as spring tide. A smaller bulge is created on the other side of the earth due to the earth's rotation. When the moon is at right angles to the sun, it results in minimum tides, known as neap tides. The oceans of our earth are vast. While they provide us with several benefits, they can also be a source of destruction. An earthquake, a volcanic eruption or underwater slides can produce massive tidal waves known as tsunamis. A tsunami can travel at a speed of up to 700 kilometers per hour and reach a height of 150 meters. When it approaches the shore, it can cause massive destruction to property and lives. Thus, the oceans of Earth, though powerful and destructive, make our planet extremely unique.